Hello guys, I welcome you all to Engineers Academy. Uh, now we are going to solve this problem which says that the toll line exerts a force P of 6 kN at the end of 8 meter long crane boom. If x is equal to 10 meter, determine the position theta of the boom so that this force creates a maximum moment about point O. What is this moment? So now uh, uh, these we need to find this angle theta for which uh, this 6 kN force need to create the maximum moment about the 8.0. So this 6 kN force will produce the maximum moment if the line of action of this 6 kN force is perpendicular with the with this OA line with the center line of this crane uh, boom right. So if I draw the free body diagram, this will be our free body diagram. Let's say that, uh, that this is that OA line. Let's see, this is the center line of that crane boom. This is that point O and this is that point A where that 6 kN force is acting. And this particular point is at a distance of 1 meters from the ground, right? So let me represent that ground. So somewhere here is that ground, right? This is our ground level, ground surface, right? And this distance is one meter that is given. So now if uh, that the line of action of this 6 kN force is perpendicular to this OA arm, so it will produce the maximum moment. So let me show that line of action of that force. So let's say that this is the line of action of that force and let's say it is perpendicular. So this will be the position of that B where uh, this toe line is to be fastened, right? So this is that point B. So let me write that this is our new point B when the line of action of this 6 kN force is perpendicular with that OA line. Now we are required, we are given the distance between this point O and B. So from that we can say that we are given this distance. From here to here this distance is given, this is x and this is 10 meters, right? This is x equals to 10 meters. Now if I draw a line here, let's say if I draw a line from this point to this point, so it will be less than that uh, 10 meters distance that x equals to 10. So let's say this is, this is x dash distance. And similarly, if I draw a perpendicular here, if I draw a vertical line here, so this vertical line will have a length of 1 meter since this is 1 meter and this, this length is let's say x double dash. So now from this we can say that x is equal to x dash plus x double dash. So we can write that, let me write that x dash plus x double dash, this is equal to x which is 10 meters. And now from this triangle, this, this O A, the center line of that, uh, that crane, this O A is 8 meters, this is 8 meters. Now from this, let's say this is point P. So from this O A P triangle, we can say that this 8 meters is the base of this x dash, right? And this angle is unknown, we have to find this angle theta. So now from this OAP triangle, we can say that x dash cos of theta equals to 8 meters. And from that we can write that x dash is equal to 8 divided by cos of theta. This line is perpendicular with this line, with this horizontal line. And this, the line of action of the force is perpendicular with this OA line. So now from that we can conclude that if, if these two lines are perpendicular with these two lines between which this angle theta is made, so then the angle between these two lines is also angle theta. So this is also theta angle. So now we have this triangle. Now if I apply tan theta to this small triangle, if I write tan theta, so that tan theta will be perpendicular of this triangle. So the perpendicular of this triangle is x double dash divided by 1. So from this we can conclude that x double dash is tan theta. So now I can write that x dash is 8, this is 8 divided by cos of theta plus this is tan theta, x double dash is tan theta, this is equal to 10 
And from tan theta, we can write that this is sine theta divided by cos of theta. So we can write that this is sine of theta divided by cos of theta. Now if I multiply both sides of this equation by cos of theta, so we will have 8 plus sine of theta equals to 10 cos of theta. And if I rearrange this, if I write it is 10 cos of theta, if I bring this 8 to the other side, so it will be minus 8 equals to sine of theta. And now if I take square on both sides of the equation, so this is, uh, we can write that equation is, this equation will be, this is A minus B square formula. So we will write that this is 10, 10 cos of theta square plus 8 square. So 8 square is 64 minus 2 into 8 into 10 cos of theta equals to sine square theta. And this will be 10 square will be 100. So this will be 100 cos square theta that is 100 cos square theta and this is 2 into 8 is 16 and 16 into 10 is 160. So this is minus 160 cos of theta and as we know that cos square theta plus sine square theta this is always equal to 1 and from this we can write that sine square theta equals to 1 minus cos square theta. So instead of sine square theta we can write this 1 minus cos square theta. So this is 1 minus cos square theta and now if I bring this cos square theta on the other side of equation so that will be 100 cos square theta plus that cos square theta and this minus 160 cos of theta plus 64 minus this 1. So this is equal to 0. Now this is 101 cos square theta. Let me write this is 101 cos square theta and 64 minus 1 is 63. Now if I replace this cos of theta by x, so that will be 101 x square minus 160 x plus 63 and this is equal to 0. Now this is a quadratic equation in terms of x we will have two roots. So we can find the roots of this equation. So 101 minus 160 and 63. So one of the root is uh, x let's say x1 and that we that is equal to cos of theta remember. So cos of theta is a 0 0.852 0 0.852 and then we have another root that is x2 and that is uh, 0 0.731 and this is also equal to cos of theta. So 0 0.731. Now both of these equations, both of these uh, cos of theta or theta values must satisfy this equation. So now if I use this uh, x1 value that is 0 0.852 and if I take cos inverse, so cos inverse of that x1 root shift cos inverse of 0 0.852, this gives us 31.57. So from x1 we get uh, theta that required theta equal to 31.57 degrees. And similarly if I use this value cos inverse of this value 0 0.731 so this gives us uh, 43.02 so the second theta is 43.02 now both of these angles must satisfy that equation since the summation of x dash plus x double dash must be equal to 10 so now we have to check that whether uh, which theta value is accurate for our particular case now if I put uh, this theta 31.57 in this equation, so that will be uh, 8 divided by cos of that 31.57 and as we know that sine of theta by cos of theta is tan theta, so I will write tan of that 31.57. 
So for 31.57 degrees, uh, we get that value uh, equal to 10. So for this theta, this equation is valid, right? That is uh, equal to this sum is equal to 10 and which is the problem value which uh, the problem tells us that x must be equal to 10 meters. And now if I put this theta in this equation that is 43.02, so that is 43.02, this is 43.02. So this gives us 11.87 which is greater than that 10 value. So this, this theta is not going, not satisfying that equation 1. So this means that our accurate answer for theta is 31.57 degrees. So now if this uh, boom is making angle theta that is 31.57 degrees with the horizontal, so this 6 kN force is going to uh, produce the maximum moment. Now in the problem statement it is said that what is this, what is that maximum moment, so we can write that uh, MO maximum that will be equal to that 6 kN force multiply by the perpendicular distance. So this is the perpendicular distance which is 8. So this is 6 into 8 is 48 and the force is in kN, so its units will be kN meter. And as we can see that uh, this force is going to, if the force is acting here, so that force is going to produce the uh, counterclockwise moment about that point O. So this is 48 kilonewton meter uh, moment and its direction is counterclockwise. So this is that maximum moment. So this is the solution of this particular problem. I hope this will help you in your learning. Do subscribe Ingenious Academy for the solution of such more problems from Hebrew statics.